Welcome to Dr. Jester Runs, and I'm gonna rant about this from AV Club. Yes, a new South Park event, teaser and card, we're already so tired! Motherfuckers! And this is the guy, a, a person who is getting utterly triggered after the trailer. Oh, a teaser, really, of an episode exclusive at Paramount Plus 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 Plus. Yeah, they are going with the plus plus thingy. And uh, it's hilarious how triggered the guy is. I don't know if I could technically play the trailer from South Park without getting copyright claim because they, they tend to do that. Uh, but I want to give at least uh, some preview of what is happening. The trailer is, I suggest you go, guys, go watch it. They replaced the boys with a big woman and they swapped them. Like this one, saying that she had diarrhea. That's pretty much a, a Cartman word. Stan got replaced by a Latina. Kyle got Ray swapped by... I think an Indian woman, which is pretty much accurate with, uh, with what is happening in Hollywood today. Butters, with a black woman too. But at least Kenny looks okay. <laughs> and it's accurate. They pretty much go and show it to you accurately. And um, even Kyle here is questioning how the fuck this is okay. And... The PC principal kind of just goes on and attacks him. Pretty much what we get from the left. Say, no, that's a so really okay. It's you that is the problem. They do that. And I do have a very large, big, beautiful list of race swaps, gender swaps, etc. In Hollywood. They call the woke washing list in Hollywood. And um, I'm pretty sure this list is going to increase as soon as we get the full name of the characters on a certain <clears throat> Jesus story related thingy. And as you can see, it's massive on black washing. So it's uh, utterly accurate on South Park. But as I stated in the actual article when I have this list, if it's done for parody purposes, it's not included. The same reason why we have uh, white chicks or, you know, Robert Downey Jr. in Tropical Thunder. But anyway, let's read how butthurt this guy is. It's a doozy. I'm preparing you. Oh, no, you know what? Here's a trailer first. I'm back, baby! Yeah! Reading. The stupidity. 
The upshot for us, though, is that the long-running series can kind of sneak up on you sometimes, meaning that's something like the new trailer. Teaser. For South Park, joining the Pandaverse, released earlier today, can hit you with no time for preparation and woof! Yeah, this one is a lot. Uh, no, it's it's actually quite hilarious. They are literally mocking you fucking retards. Well, the creators of South Park have been pretty much consistently mocking both sides of the spectrum of the political spectrum, so I don't see this as an issue, so there is that. And, um, and quite frankly, I... I don't see it as a problem, but for these retards, you can only mock one side on, and one side only, and the other is utterly right, no matter what. That's their mentality. We are dealing with the far left that is absolutely devoid of any sense of humor. Or self-reflection, by the way. But anyway, here it is. The Spider-Man referencing title suggests that the show will be offering its take on increasing cults or diversity in mainstream media, or at least allegations that said cults are cynically exploited by studios to make money. And hey, do you get the spawny headaches in the front of your skull while watching the stuff? We get the spawny headaches in the front of our skull. Well, I do get it. Especially when watching garbage shows like, I don't know... What was it? September or no, October, something that came out on Netflix. The race swaps of constantly on what happened with the... I even forgot the, the name of the series of, that dealt with Romans. They actually race swapped everybody they could in there for Netflix. Then we see the, the Stranger Things having... Um, I'm, I hope that at least one of those women that they race swap them and gender swap them is a lesbian because otherwise it's not proper representation but anyway back to the subject uh cleopatra is another example yes we do get it it's absolutely retarded but i believe it's not the same headache that this idiot here is trying to claim because this idiot here gets a headache when he is mocked we all get a headache when we watch crap shows because of diversity, and he is totally triggered on this. Utterly fucking triggered. Why am I not surprised? Because have you seen lately how the left is absolutely, utterly triggered with any, with anything related to humor, jokes, or anything else? Yeah. They've pretty much become the religious fanatics of back in the 80s and 90s and possibly even the early noughties. They've become utterly humorless. They cannot take criticism. They cannot take self-retrospection. They cannot take anything else. Look, here is one example. I don't know how much of it, but uh, you can pretty much guarantee it's going to be retarded. It's a comment, and uh, quite frankly, I agree. It's uh, agree on the fact that this person here is not one of the brightest little persons in the universe. But here it is. Oh shit. Can we finally add South Park to the list of overly long-running adult animated shows that need to die already? Like, totally. How can they mock my ideology? Don't they know this is blasphemous? Ugh. Yes. Exactly how blasphemous it is. Yeah, because it's, uh... Your ideology has become a religion. You are in a cult, you moron. And I love South Park because they mock equally on both sides. There was one mocking of in the last season in which they mocked Trump. That one felt a bit weak. Didn't feel as good as the other times they mocked Trump. I don't know why. It felt very much as if uh, the Tumblrinas in the writing room had a free had a free day for them to write without interference from Matt and Trey Parker. 
Matt Stone and Trey Parker, and it felt very much like that. Because the other times in which they mocked Trump was absolutely fucking hilarious. It was amazing. I loved it. But in this one, it, this one felt a bit weak. But overall, the last season was pretty good, especially how they mocked Chat GPT and they mocked the writers as well. But either way, uh, this is going to prove hilarious and I cannot wait to actually watch it and see how or what they pulled in this. It would be very, very funny. But either way, have a, on that goddamn fucking hell, have a great fucking night. And remember, fuck you, YouTube, with a big goddamn fat large dildo.